aliye aguka hata kuwa na access ya mtu wa uzima na tukaona matamushi isiyo ya kawaida ambao wengi wetu huwa hatuiangalii sana ehe aha katika mwanzo 2:22 tukaona Bwana Mungu akasema basi huyu mtu amekuwa kama mmoja wetu wa kujua mema na mabaya na sasa asije akanyosha mkono wake akatoa matunda ya mtu wa uzima akala akaishi milele God said mambo ya immortality iishe asije akaishi milele asije so hii neno asije akaishi milele is the starting point of sicknesses na pia mwanzo mwingine wa magonjwa ni laana ambao dunia imelaaniwa naye dunia ikaingizwa kwa laana ambao inalega mwanadamu inalega mwanadamu katika shabara Eden hakukuwa na poison hakukuwa na mnyama ambao angekuuma upate ugojwa so you see the bible talks about dunia imelaaniwa kwa ajili yetu ukiangalia katika aya 17 ya hiyo chapter ya chapter 3 inasema kwamba akasema kwa Adam kwa kuwa umeisikiliza sauti ya mke wako ukara matuda ya muti ambao nimekuagiza nikisema usiale adhi imelaaniwa kwa ajili yako kwa uchungu utakula mazao yake siku zote za maisha yako michogo ma na miiba itakuzalia look at now verse 18 When the Bible talks about michogoma, michogoma na miiba itakusalia, this is it shows the world ikawa na laana haya na kukawa na na uzao ambao sio chakula. Shabara Eden could produce fruit only. Hakukuwa na mambo ya ati kuna kuna magugu weeds noi everything was food but now after curse bible inasema dunia haitapatia mwanadamu chakula na iwapo itampa chakula itabidi mwanadamu apambane na laana inasema dunia itakupatia mishogoma na miba thisos thorns this this kind of production shows expresses things abazo sio chakula kwetu they cause us to suffer the world has a system of curse to inflict suffering and disease on us so mwanadamu lazima awe na bidii na pia mwanadamu lazima apabane na magonjwa apabane na magonjwa apabane na magonjwa statement like food poisoning was not there katika shabara eden ati amekula chakula akaanza kuwa na shida stubo no do you know siku hizi you need to be very careful hata mambo ya nyama kama kuku kuku bereni ukiweka kuku asubuhi na tuko watoto naanza kukula siku hizi kuku ukipika the way to preserve it in a way that utakula asubuhi imekuwa hata kwa fridge imekuwa issue unless iwe deep freezer ikirara tu usiku usiku moja you need to be very careful waweza kula ukute watoto sikuwa tulikuwa na brother Moriyuki amenunua nyama jioni nyama nzuri kulala tu asubuhi ikawa poison us kwa bishop i don't know what's happening now mpaka ni ya bishop nitakuwa nikinua nyama asubuhi si ya fridge things are changing dunia inatupaja poison is becoming dunia imelaaniwa kwamba 
is like it's giving us poison kwamba kukura chakula lazima iangaliwe mzuri mzuri ndio iwe if I, sometimes some of us tunaweza ka the whole day hukuri kitu just to avoid problem ya chakula so we are saying there are two effects dhabi iliyofanya tutupwe nje ya shaba tusije tukala mtu wa uzima and the same time dunia iliyo laaniwa kwaba badala ya kutupatia chakula ya maana badala ya kutupatia baraka the world is fighting us inatupiga inatupiga like now when they talk ebora ebora is a disease and they say it is caused na virus virus ni mnyama microorganism imetokea wapi inatua is that if the world is an issue na anyway na tukaona kwamba pia magonjwa huletwa na dhabi ya mtu your own sin tukaona John 5:14 wakati mtu huyu aliyekuwa hajiwezi miaka 38 what happened Kristo alipomponya alisemaje tazama umekuwa mzima enda usifanye dhabi tena usije ukapatwa na jambo baya zaidi kuliko hiyo which means hiyo ugonjwa wa 38 years katika kiini chake it was caused by a certain sin na i don't know kama mnajua kwamba unapokuwa mgonjwa don utatibiwa but ni vizuri sana kutubu how can sin cause sickness mtu wa miaka that mtu amegojeka hajiwezi za 30 years na Yesu anasema sin no more pia unaweza kuwa mgonjwa kwa sababu ya dhabi za wengine dhabi za wengine dhabi za wengine hiyo tuliona Exodus 20 verse 5 tukaona kwamba Mungu ni Mungu mwenye wivu na hufanya 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 katika Genesis 20 verse 5 Mungu aha usi visujudie wara kuvitumikia kwa kuwa mimi bwana Mungu wako ni Mungu mwenye wivu na wapatiliza wana maovu ya baba zao hata kizazi cha tatu na cha ine cha wanichukiao nami nitawarehemu maelfu elfu wanipendao na kushika amri zangu no look at that curse atarehemu maelfu na maelfu washikae sheria zake alafu praise god atafanya hasira yake ifikie kizazi cha tano katika family ya watu wanaomchukia now sijui kama mnajua let me tell something nataka ukague family yenu just check your family unakuta uncle yako alikuwa mrevi baba yako alikuwa mrevi alikuwa anapiga watu mama yako kuna wakati alitoroka alipotoroka unakuta your brother alizaliwa wakati mama yako alitoroka kwa hivyo brother yako hata kama hamuongei huyu hata kama muongei tafadhali tafadhali enda kwa mlima utubu dhabi za wazazi abia bwana najua baba yangu mama yangu anko yangu babu yangu walioenda kwa wachawi bwana hawa watu walikuchukia nao kuja kwa sababu ya neno lako katika Exodus 20 verse 5 kwamba wewe hufikishia hufikishia uovu wa baba kwa watoto kizazi cha tatu cha ine. amen praise god kwa wale wanao kuchuki kuchukia paka kizazi cha ine. i think kizazi cha ine. so if your family iko watu ambao wanachukia mungu they can say anything 
unakuta walevi unavuta bagi don't leave it unattended chukua nafasi wataja majina na utubu za bidhao mimi huwa na, nashika neno ambao Mungu alisema hivi kuna wakati alikasirika juu ya Israeli akasema the only thing alihitaji ni mwana Israeli moja ajitokeze hapo katikati awe intercessor just that akasema kama ningepata mmoja wao katikati yao na mimi anao niomba nikasikia lakini nilipoona kwa hiyo watu hakuna hata mmoja anaona kuna fani wale hem niliwaagamiza wote i pray that god atakuona wewe mmoja katikati yake na familia yenu iliyo kunywa pombe ndio alehem ndio tuepuke dhabi na na nyinyi mmeokoka lakini let me tell you something see na mungu and I'll be careful about it you, you know where's the epuka these things unakuta watoto wa boto nalea hata kama tunawaombea kiasi gani unaona, unaona ni kuna kitu kigeni unapiga nacho katika mtoto magonjwa ambayo ulisikia ilikuwa na baba yenu unaona anaanza kuingia mtoto wako strange sicknesses katoto kamezaliwa kana strange sicknesses that doctor is fighting against although unatafuta matibabu pray 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 naambie bwana ahusike uh, praise god Amen. Haya, na kuna wale ambao familia yako haina shida. Hakuna kitu ukiangalia wazazi wako ndio walikuwa wazuri. Hata wanapenda Mungu sana. Wewe sasa ndio naanza hiyo laana. Wewe. Wewe sasa you are the starting point. Haikuweko walio kuzaa they did worship God. Lakini wewe na nyumba yako na ndugu zako na dada zako ndio mnaanza chuki ndio mnaanza hiyo process ya laana you could you could have inherited a system of favor but we mwenyewe uanzishe hiyo you need to be very careful na sana sana hii jabo huleta mapigo mapigo it's true ukiangalia Deuteronomy 28 ah uh, let me read it very quickly utaona kitu kimeandikwa hapo verse 15 Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 inasema hivi lakini itakuwa usipotaka kuisikiza sauti ya Bwana Mungu wako usipotaka kuna family unakuta mtu hataki hata kanisani you could be saved lakini hutaki kusikia wokovu wako si ule wokovu riu ni wokovu uko nao jina umeokoka dini bible talks about usipotaka verse 15 usipotaka kuisikia sauti ya bwana mungu wako usiangalie kufanya maagizo yake yote na amri zake ni kuagiza hivi leo dipo zitakapokuja laana hizi zote na kukupata utalaaniwa mjini utalaaniwa mashabani litalaaniwa kapu lako na chobo chako cha kadia unga mhm utalaaniwa uzao wa tubo lako zimeenda kile kimeshangaza ni kwamba hii chapter kuanzia verse 15 mpaka verse 68 inaongea kuhusu cases inaongea mambo ya TB inaongea kuhusu magojwa ya gozi isiyoisha have you ever read this inaongea kuhusu unaoa mke anachukuliwa na mwingine unaolewa na mume anaenda na mwingine it's all there it's all there aha Is it eh, eh. It's interesting it's, it's bad utaona aha ati niona niona kama moja hapa 
Basi pote tukasema miti yako yote na mazao ya nchi yako nzige watakuwa nayo. Mugeni aliye kati yako atazidi kupaju yako nawe utazidi kushuka chini mugeni. A stranger will come and take over. Si muna siku hizi unakuta mahali munakaa mukifikiri eh baba kadua labda pale ni nyeri muna mtu anakaa. Somebody comes from Ram. Somebody comes from uh, Busia. Neiba anua shaba hapo ikakumi. Anajenga. Mugeni atakuja. Afanikiwe. Mahali unaishi. Na wewe akwajiri. These things are there. Amen. Praise God. What's the cause? Usiposikia sauti. Ya buwana mungu. Wako. Amen. Mm-hmm. Like now, but in, in the verse you choose, like now, 49. Bwana atakuletea taifa juu yako kutoka bari. Kutoka incha ya dunia. Kama arukavyo tai. Ta, taifa usilo rifahamu ulimewake. Taifa lenye, you know, it's interesting. All fish, all fish. All this. Now, it, it, kwanzia 15 paka 68. Na utaona magojo imeandikwa hapo. Aba imeandikwa na magojo wa isio pona. Isio sikia ndawa. It's all there. So we need to be very careful about how we live. Ata kama magojo huja. Isije kwa sababu ya laana. Ije labda kwa sababu tu ya hala kini. Na tukaona pia magonjwa huleto na demons. Kuna ugonjwa ambao pepo fulani imekueka. Huo ugonjwa pepo fulani imekueka. A demon imekueka. A demon. Na wakati huu ugonjwa na ponywa, itabidi yo pepo ikemewe. Those are sicknesses that they are funny. Ukipewa dawa zinatulia. Ukika kidogo inarudi. Haya. Tumeona mama ambaye alikuwa hajiwezi maka kumina minane. Luka kumina tatu, haya kumina moja. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Now, able to one kwa kifupi the reasons of sickness. Kuna wakati magonjwa husababishwa na I, I, ugonjwa is a trial of faith. Ni imani yako inajaribiwa. Imani yako inajaribiwa. Ukisha pita mtihani huo ugonjwa haurudi tena. Nasema hivi, kuna ugonjwa huja. Your faith is being tested. When you overcome, when you overcome that disease, haiji tena. Kuna two ways katika, iko katika 1 Peter chapter 1 uh, verse 7. Inasema, ili kwaba kujaribiwa kwa imani yenu ambayo inadhamani ku kuliko dhahabu, ipo teao, ijapo kuwa hiyo hiya ujaribuwa na moto. Kuonekane kwenye sifa. Kuonekane kwenye sifa. Kujaribuwa kwenu, kuonekane kwenye sifa. So, there is what to trial of faith. Hii kitu ina effect marambiri. One, ukisha jaribiwa na uonekane kabisa. There are two levels. Shetani ameutumia. As akiona kabisa, ameshidwa kukupata kupitia ugojwa, he withdraws. Haya, tuwede pati ingine. Mungu nae aezatumia huo ugonjwa. Praise God. Kwa jia yake. In a way that, ukisha fauru, God you promote your faith. 
That's why munaona aya saba inasema katika 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7 tukisha jaribiwa eh, we may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Christ. Tested by fire. Tested. You become glorious. You are promoted. Unaanza kuwa na mamulaka juu ya hali hizo. Kuna mutu ambao baada kupitia shida fulani, badara ya yeye kuwa mudhaifu, anapata mamulaka ya levo igine. After overcoming this test, unakuta u jamaa anamamulaka levo igine katika hali ya kuishi. Kwake, I, I don't come in my mind. There are people after, umai kuona watu wabawa mungu natumia sana. Na anasema ye, mimi ni kwa karibu kufa, mba nakanifufua. Unakuta akihubiri imani ya mbwana awezae majabu imezaliwa dani yake. Haya, jabu ningina ni kwamba uh, Mungu hutumia magojwa to review his work. To review his work. To review his work. Iyo tuliyona katika John chapter 9, wakati kulikuwa na kipofu, ambao alikuwa haribaya sana, paka wanafunzu wakauliza, uyu alizaliwa bila macho. Now, this is an issue that we need to understand. An issue. It was not an attack. Usi mutu alikuwa naona, akawa na attack on the way. Alizaliwa bila macho. And you people ask, vipofu wengine huwa na macho, abawa ya meharibika on the way. Vipofu wengine huwa, walizaliwa wanaona, alafu on the way, akakojeka. But now this one was blind from birth. Mama lizam toto ambao ni kama macho haikubika akua kwa tubo. Na ikawa kwamba hayeleweki kwa nini mungu alimunyima macho. Alipokuwa akimpatia other organs. That's why akina pita na uliza rabi ukiagalia John chapter 9 verse 2. Rabi. Ni yupi alie teda dhabi. Mutu huyu au wazazi wake hata azaliwe kipofu. Yesu akajibu. Huyu haku teda dhambi. Wala wazazi wake. Bali kazi za mungu zidihirishwe dani yake. There are people ambao mungu atatumia hali zao kudihirisha kazi zake. Ujama alipaku wa matope hapa. Akaenda kunawa katika puu ilio kwa naitua siroamu. Alipo hoga, akawa na brand new eyes. Such people, mugu akiwaponya, nataka yu musikize, you know God is God of justice. Hawa watu unasikia amekua kipofu na mugu anamtumia to prove his power. To prove his power. Akiponywa, mugu humulipa. Unapata ujama baada kuponywa ni kama mungu amemulipa hasara alioenda. Yote wakati ya boha kuwa naona. Just to show him, I nilifanya uwe hivo. Ili nionyeshe kufuzangu. And because I'm done. Hallelujah. Nitakubariki mpaka nikulipishie mahali ulienda shida kubwa. There are people ambao takuta ameteseka kwa meaka kama kumina mitano hivi. Arafu, mara moja, mugu amtumie kuonyesha gufu zake. Uone jamari kwa na shida, lakini tena amebalikiwa. Mungu amemulipishia hile meaka lipoteza. For he was that way, hili mungu aonyesha gufu zake. Buwana aswe sana. Amen. Kuna wakati ambapo watu hugojeka kwa sababu mungu. Muna, na hii na ukiagalia 2 Corinthians 12 verse 7. Tunaona 2 Corinthians 12 verse 7. Tunaona pauru akisema, akisema kitu. And lest I should be exalted above measure 
by the abundance of the revelation, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. This is a hii sasa ni ya kuogopwa. Unajua Paulo ana ukisoma hii chapter anasema kuna wakati alichukuliwa akaperekwa bigu ya kwanza, bigu ya pili paka bigu ya tatu. Na akasema na mambo niliyoyaona huko hakuna mtu anaruhusiwa kuyasema akiwa ndani ya mwili. Po alidai. Na hii ni kitu utafanya research in chapter aliona maufunuo ambao inaweza inaweza haribu mtu katika ukawaida wa mwili akasema i was taken to that heaven now do you know paul has never disclosed what he saw in that heaven and paul never disclosed the meaning of that heaven Lakini sema, I was taken there. Na kasema hayo mambo niliyona. Ni mambo ya weza haribu. Yani, ya mepita me uweza manadamu. And then he says, At the dio, na this one need to, we need to be very careful. At the dio asije akajivuna. Kwa sababu, Na asije, because it was so glorious. Anasema, hayo mambo ya likuwa na utukufu. Na hakuna mutu wa meruhusiwa kuyasema akiwa dani ya mwili. Mimi hiyo na wakoba kuhusu paoro. Ata nadiwa sijaribu ya kuyasema. Mungu akamweka thorn in the flesh. Which Georgians were faithful. Wanajua it was loved a sickness fulani. Kuna watu usema ata likuwa na shida ya macho. Kuna wengine husema alikuwa na epilepsy. I don't know. People say anything. And the Rogers are funny. Ate kuna, kuna shida po alikuwa nae. Aina ya ugonjwa. Ambao haikuwa. We, haiku muua. Lakini haiku enaisha. Anaita. Thorn in the flesh. Ambao alioba maratatu. Kwa kufuga ponywe. Bwana kamambia siku ponyi. Nema yangu na kutosha ka hivo. Now, that one is strange. Mimi, ugataka hivo? Uh, unaweza pata, ukicheza. Kuna watu katika kanisa. Unaweza sababisha mungu akutie kauchungu kidogo. Kwa sababu huna break. Kuna watu huogea ovyo ovyo. Na ato kia buwa nyamaza. Chuka ulimi usiki. Itabidi munga kutie kauchungu. Dio kaku. Kuna watu itabidi kutoke vita. Dio aede heaven's gate. Na aede karura maobi. Au katoroni. Asipopata kashida. Hata oba. Lakini ukitaka kwepuka hiyo kitu yetu wa thorn in the flesh, uti mungu sana na umuogope. Uta avoid hiyo. Unanaka vile mtu kanisani, ulikuwa, wee, skiza, ulikuwa hukozi kesha, haukozi mambi ya kufuga, siku hizi umeanza kakiburi kidogo. Hicho, labda ukona kaploti rinunua, au usijimu na kanji, unaweza vuta, Iyo kitu wetuwa thorn in the flesh. Thorn in the flesh. Daudi, Daudi alipo aguka. Alifanya usharati na nani? Bethi Sheba. Aliabua Daudi. Nime kusamehe. Lakini kutoka sasa mpaka ukufe. Upanga. Upanga. Hauta kosa nyuba yako. Kumanisha kwa ba Daudi nimegudua. Suwezu kuaminia neema tu hivi hivi. Unaitaji kisu kidoka. Chee. Daudi ukiangalia kutoka hapo. Nyumba ya kerikuwa na vita. Aye. Sometime Absalom, his own son, alichukua mama yake. Mama, real mother. Na wake wa Daudi. Akawatoa guo, juu ya nyumba. Akawarepu wote, watu wakiona. Daudi.
Ya kaul David, what are you saying about this? Alwa guy. Nimejiletea haya. Ukitaka kuingia hiyo haya sababu nimejiletea ha? Asi Mungu. Kwa sababu ulitoa guo, ukafanya usharati Mungu akiona. Ule uchungu Mungu Mungu atasikia. Atakupa. Lakini neema ambayo tumepewa bure kama Mungu ataona daima unamuogopa unamtii hakuna haja ya kukupiga kwa maana already umejipiga umejipi yeah. amen kufuga na kuoba hurazimishwi kwenda kesha hurazimishwi kupiga magoti hapa hurazimishwi kutoa pesa yako kwanza unajua like now kuna watu tumesema tujiadikishe Tumeza tunuwe plote kitho urai. Kuna watu hawatoi kwa sababu yeye anaanzaka na mabu ya kwake. Kuna wengine tunaanza kutimiza. Let me, some of us mkituona. Naeza kopa loo ni pahali. Nitimize haja ya mungu kwanza. Nitoke ni kisema buwana sina deni na wewe. And I go home rejoicing knowing that I have honored God. Kuna wengine wako opposite. Utashipa kwanza kitabo utoe kitu cha kweshe mungu. Si tulibadirika. Mi tulibadirika hipo. Kile hunisubua sana. Kwanza nitimize kitu ambao tumeadika kwa breti hapa. Githurai nitakuwa na amani iyo nyuba kijengwa. Conference nitakuwa na amani nimelipa so nikitoka ule mrango najua sina deni na yale baba mambo Jehovah aliniambia when god knows wewe hujinenea hujinenea wewe huelewa you know i saw it in nigeria is na nikasema that is part of our faith obasi akasema kuna haja ya 8 million naira it's, it's almost i think pesa nigeria na kenya is almost the same ni kama 8 million kenya shillings. Sema. Araba kasema, may the Lord provide. Watu kasema, amen. Ibada lipo isha. Watu wote kwa magoti. Kasa wafasia, what is he doing? Akaniambia bishop. Si mungu alisema, hawasemi pastor anataka. Wanasema, mungu anataka. Hawawezi toka kwa ibada. Mpaka mtu wa obe. Jehovah. Katika hii mioni, hiyo mioni nane, unataka nifanyenji. Do you know within few hours, hiyo pesa nikuwa metolewa? Nikaenda, haka nipereka kwa head quarter, hamejeka, imejeka ya Afrika. Kama state house buwana. Do you know bishop? Nilitagaza kanisani, ninahitaji ofisi kuu ya Afrika. Nikasewa mithero provide. Watu wakaita kwa magoti. One brother, alimuambia nipe plan. One brother. Amejega nyumba ya kama 300 million Kenya shares. Alipo jega kabia uvasia, chukua fuguo. Kaenda. Ati hawa wezi toka kanisani. Mpaka kwanza. Kide mungu alisema nataka. That's the fear of God. And I tell you, I was surprised. Millionaires. Kwa madhabao ni yonyeshwa, watu 21. 21 church elders about wako na PhD. Lakini wanaitwa two brothers. That's how God can raise us. So many amen. Avoid thorn in the atitabidi kwako kila wakati mulie. Dio kubuke mungu. Kubuka mungu pila uchungu. Itabidi wewe ukose pesa. Dio uje hapa mchana kuomba. Wakati ukona pesa hata ibada uji. Avoid tabia hiyo. Wewe mwenyewe, wewe mwenyewe jiamuru kuomba mungu. Mungu hata itaji kukweka uchungu. Na kuna vilo na esafila kama Daudi. Bana aseme apana, nimegudua weo na itaji upanga. Daima. Panga. Dio ujue. Dan dio kupuke. May God help us. Thorn in the flesh. 
ya Paulo ilikuwa a bit different si dhabi alifanya ni Mungu aliona huyu nimemuonyesha mambo ambao sijawahi onyesha mtu mwingine na hayo mambo haruhusiwi kuyasema nitamweka kitu kwa mwili ambao haitamuua lakini itafanya asije akaka po alisema nisiche nikajivuna kwa sababu ya maufunuo nilipewa ambao Mungu hajaonyesha hiyo hata Yohana Revelation hakuona po alisema i saw things that i'm not supposed to say or to write now i know Yesu Kristo amen Reason of sickness, which I'm finishing now, Guinea, the sin of the parents, grandparents, and ancestors. Dhambi ya wazazi, dhambi ya kinababu, na dhambi ya uko. Ancestors, ancestors. Na, that's what we say, ukiokoka in a family. Wewe kagua your family. Don't just, where? Hear this. Don't just exist in a family. Usi zaya watoto tu in a family. Zaya watoto kwa family ambao unajua. She na la hilo family umeri yo bear. Kwa mana hakuna mtoto ulipata we. Hauku pata watoto by impartation. Muzee aliweka seed na muzee amebeba damu ya kwao. We mama unayai, umebeba eh, genetic composition ya kwenu. Unakuta kwenu watu ni walevi. Na ni kama watoto wako meanza kuwa na ulevi. Kwenu watu hawasomi, hawana kazi. Na watoto wako haka stadito na kataka kusoma. Hawa hawapiti mitihani. Unakuta kuna fame, nobody had yet a beautiful form. Haya skiza. Either, either, skiza, either, wanaaguka mitihani wote, au number two, hawataki kusoma, au number three, mukipita wote, unakuta mzazi, hana hata duru, ya kundu anguo. Just for the curse, kutimia kwamba, hamuta pita hapo. Somebody should see that. And say, God, this should not happen. This should not happen. No, na pata, it happened to your family. Haya, na weo kiza wa toto. Kakipita form four. Kaeda huko bere. Unakuta akieda bere, ata haedi bali. Masoma ya huko bere, inapotea yote. I met somebody, ni dermatologist. Ameda mpaka idia. Dermatologist. Lakini hiyo masomo ya kuwa daktari haikuwa nyakazi. It was destroyed. Don't just allow that. Repent the sins and deal with the spirits and destroy them. Iri family yenu izaliwe tena. Izaliwe tena. Amen. Bwana aswa sana. Kuna magonjo wa hudetu wana physical neglect or carelessness. Carelessness. Hatuwezi ya puka hiyo. The way unaka kwa... Halo? Uriyada kukura? Uriyada kikoba? Uji na pitisho hapa? Unasema nwekea kikobe moja? Uji ume pikiwa hapi? Baba kengori ya mekosea, meda kukula kwa kioski hapa. Unaedesha wiki mzima, mama hajui nini mbaya na wewe. Andekatha ilwari ya hawa uwa. Simulizikia siku hizi, hawa mama wanapika ketheli, wanaeka panado. Did you hear that? It was announced. Di wakiweka chakura, ichemuke haraka ipi haraka, wanaeka panado. Na kuregina nambea, anaeka chui ni gani? Ukinunua gedheri kwa barabara. Vyo mweza. We. Watu wa baha. Habari ya watu wetu. Situko. Baba jabura. Sasa mama gedheri muambie. Bishop alisema wanaeka parado. Wakikata muambie sasa. Iyo gedheri yako sasa. Chemusa ukure wewe mwenyewe. No. 
The other day, nilikutana na mama moja wa kina kopu kwenu. Chia lidi. Akabia bishop, sijui, ni, kuna kito nesubua. Si yele mitafanyaji. Kwa sababu, ati kina kopu. Kuna ndawa, sijui, metoka China. Niyali niyambia. Wamepewa. Inawekwa kwa viasi, inakuwa haraka. Kwa eka mojo na vuna sana. Mama iniambia yeye, hawezi kura hiyo. Kwa shaba yake, akona nusu eka, ame panda bila kuweka dawa ya familia yake. Hiyo ingine wameka hiyo kemi kutoka China, wanauza Nairobi. Sama so, bishop, ninasikia kukumiwa. Because hiyo viasi, I know vile tumetegereza. Na hiyo viasi, umai kona viasi, eh, ukikwaruza tu kidogo hivi, inaosa haraka. Sidiyo? I said, Bishop, I feel guilty. Si seme musikule chips, mi nasema kitu nisikia kwa mtu. Hello? Mutu anajua kabisa, hizo spinach anatuuzia. Alipada pale lawai kwa sewage na mepiga mandawa ata Huwa wananiambia kwa ba, zikipigo wa dawa, zikipigo wa dawa, zikipigo wa dawa, zikipigo wa dawa, diyo dawa ishe. Eh? That depends. Kama nyinyi ya, yenu mwakaka, eh? Kama yenu isiku wapi na ngojea? Eh, eh. Eh, ha, like now how exporters. Kuna wakati vitu ya Kenya, wali, they lost a lot. Desa hiya, ujamari wa isema hawanunui, sijui Britain, kwa sababu inamanda, ya unakubuka hiyo, eh, 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 Kasi kuizi kuna shida mwana. Kwa export razima uipimwe sana. Muzuko alizema mutatumisa sisi. Wow, amesema. Hawa ki export. Lazima kwa shaba kwa ndaktari. Haiwezi pita airport. Haiwezi nunua kama ikona nini. Na ndawa hile. Lazima iwe. Jijui munajua yu mambo yenu. Yoro na pima ka mchanga u nini. Sasa, what? Like now kia da Britain. Salisbury, Tesco. Ile meshiri metoka hapa na nini, na dengo, na nini zote. They are all good. Kwa maana mzugu wa mejiki. Sasa, hapa hakuna. Ile mekwa mandawa. Diyo tunahuziwa. And that's why ukiangalia Nairobi area, Naifasha, Central, Kansa imeua watu kuliko ukimwi. Ukieda kakamega siyo sana. Kule ni omena, omena haina shida. Ukieda Lake Victoria kuna shida kidoha na iyo bahari. Pokote husiki kansa. Wawo hukura kunya mosi kina nisi yu nini? Wana... Nairobi. Nairobi is an issue. Is an issue. Is an issue. Now inatuletea shida. Eh? Kuna mtoto wa Sunday school amekuja akanyesha pahali kwa mwili waka vya bishop ni meabua ni kona kasa hapa. Kwa Sunday school. Lakini kwa stage one imekuduriwa. It's so strange. So strange. Kuona mtoto, we, mtoto anaye nyonya. Akona shida ya shukari. Mtoto anaye nyonya. They were saying, we, they were saying this. Umana wama mabao kona miba, wanakulaka ovyo ovyo. Bitu wa shukari, eee, madashi, nini, tamu tamu, nini, ate, mwili unadai. They are saying, ukikura hizo shukari sana, unafanya mtoto alie kwa tubu, awe sensitive kwa shukari. Kakizaliwa, kanazaliwa na hamu ya shukari sana. Paka kakua na meakabiri mwaka moja, unakaona kwa Hataki madizi, hataki popo, anataka kwencha. Within three years, mutoto mdogo ako diabetes. Things that are funny. So tukubaliane, tukubaliane, magonjwa uletu ana physical neglect and carelessness. Abalienu, nimeoka kitu wapa inaereweka. Bwana asifiwe. Kama ulienda pahali pati. 
Nakuta umekura madizi samosa yote sausage chochote kilichokuwa huko anything that was around or make sure imeingia kwa tubo tubo imekuwa all inclusive paka tubo inashidwa kutafsiri cha there's a way you can eat until the stomach is unable to interpret the food unaweza chakula ile imekaa kwa tubo siku mbili tubo haijui itaita jina gani au tubo imekata inaenda haraka sana Bwana sasa sana. Inaitwa carelessness. Eh uh, Bwana ainue sana. Praise God. Mhm. Mm Because God created us in a unique way. Katika Psalms 139 verse 14 inasema nitakushukuru kwa kuwa umeniu umeniu nimeumbwa kwa jinsi ya ajabu ya kutisha matendo yako ni ajabu na nafsi yangu yajua sana i like it. sema i will praise you for i am can you read here now i am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are your works and that my soul knows well don't joke around with your body you are fearfully and wonderfully made Know the two words, fearfully. You are not on, where? You are not only wonderfully made, you are fearfully made. Amen. Marvelous are your work and I and my son, my son knows take care take care of that body that is fearfully and wonderfully made. Pana pea mwili takataka bwana. Sasa na pea mwili Samosa ambao imepikwa na nyama ya mbwa. And your body is fearful and what afraid made. Itakataa kuta inaendesha sana. Inakwambia you consumed things that are not fearful. <laughs> Mama unapoingia jikoni kupika, hapana pika haraka haraka. Pika chakura ukijua unapikia watu about they are fearful and wonderful mad. Kama ni sukuma pika ukijua unapikia fearful. Sio unakuta umechukua tu sukuma keke 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 kuna koroga chachui kuleni. Tutakataa hawae. Usisema ni kiburi. Tukwambie mimi leo sikuri. Si kiburi is only that uh, is only that I'm um, fearful and what I've read and I know it very well don't make me misunderstand myself uniweke chakula ambao inanuka na imeganda uniambie mtumishi kura unibarikishe nitakwambia badala hii nipe tu maji nitakubarikisha kwa sababu unanilazimisha nikule sawa sina umbaya lakini I know very well. I'm fearful and wonderful but I know it. Na najua hii ningekula ikiwa na hiyo harufu unless a miracle. Sitaenda crusade boy iko jioni. Usiende afadhali ukae jar the whole day. Baada ya kwenda hoteli abao they don't consider you as fearful and wonderful made jamaa wanapika chakula ovyo ovyo unazoa shilingi kumi. shilingi kumi, nunua tu maybe epo. kura ipo moja na glasi ya maji gojea uende kwako nyumbani hutakufa ujipikia chakula bao because you know, where because your soul knows very well who you are you are fearful and wonderful made ujipikia chakula inao tabua kwamba you are fearful and wonderful made kule atakataka ajira mwili utakataa bwana hata ukienda kuoga oga vizuri because you are fear free mate hapana hata kama huna huna tooth paste huna dawa ya meno tumia chumvi mm. just trying to achieve the fear free made image amen habari yenu 
hiyo nyumba uko nao hata kama ni dogo itegeneza in a way inaheshimu the image of god carelessness na neglect itafanya itafanya nini mtu aye mgojwa itafanya itafanya halo bwana sana eh urienda pahali na unajua uko busia wapi joro kumejaa mosquito wale wa kwa wa wenu wa kona malarias eh Nairobi hakuna eh, eh, mosquito wa Nairobi na nakoi na malaria sana lakini yako hao au joroga naona bila sasa Nairobi tumekujenga musuri unatumbia tumekolea bwana unajua una, una, na kwa sababu kuna kuna joto joroga na bila guo na hana neti mosquito wanakula wale musuri ni unako na service ya brother <laughs> siku tatu ulienda but now uli, carelessness utapata malaria brother utatapika utaenda kazi siku tano na utibiwa na shiriki labda 2020 hiyo greta sadaka hapa tulipia watu watu watatu conference you must always be conscious barikiweni hiyo point imeingia habari yenu habari yenu wengine wanakunywa madawa ovyo ovyo kama yani daktari kichwa inauma unakunywa pana ndo tano makemiko inajaa kwa mwili paka ukienda kupimwa na ambiwa liver eh unajua those chemicals inaenda kwa liver a lot of sometimes doctors wale wamecommand wanakupatia tu the essential medicine the essential medicine Ukiona daktari anakupa dawa 12 15 umeze. Nikwambia kitu, he is guessing. Anakupa ya ugonjwa huu 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 unaita broad spectrum treatment. Dio kama ugonjwa ni malaria, kama ni homa, kama ni akili, kama ni mgongo, hiyo service yani but doctors who really know what they are doing. Eh? Atakupa bili tatu don't just allow yourself kuchezewa daktari tell some doctors uh, let me get an alternative tulikuwa na kijana my brother hapa nikaona sadi moja guy huyu mzee alikuwa na amani anasema hali unjie ni mtu wa maombi anaabudu na stuka nikajua mzee akaniambia Brian wako wale ameambua anaenda kuchinjwa sijui because ako na shida hapa dicks sasa nafikiria nakako shule nikaambia hapana let's get another doctor walipoenda muliabiwaje alikuwa amekula chakula inakosa kusiagika vizuri aliambiwa si hapa dix ni shida iko na vijana wa shule siku hizi anakula chakula ovyo ovyo hata kunywe maji hata mpango inasimama kwa tupo for some time akapoa tu dawa tu doko kunywa hii rudi shule kakapona akapona kijana wa my sister alikuwa huku kumejaa growth kimejaa huku kishika hapa kimejaa on the way to akakani daktari alikuwa alipo 500000 na kana gojewa nikaambi ai ibipitia kwa professor afura he's a christian padat walipoenda professor alimwambia huyu mtoto si mgojwa hakuna ugojwa hapa akapo angalia huko hapo hapana wacha pumue na mdomo siku hizi tufanyaje enda ni jubani asikunywe dawa hata penkira apewe chakula mzuri na akunywe maji nyingi haramu rudi walipoenda within two weeks they disappeared bila dawa waliporudi aliwaambia huu mtoto hakuwa na si so si growth real tagwa kwa mdogo amepewa antibiotics so much paka the body was reacting hello praise god nikada kakamega nikapata case imetoka sasa hivi nyanza hospital potel hotepa ii na mtoto hebu bishop utumpeleka ataka kani kisumu mtoto karibu kufa nikasema mleteni wewe daktari kama alipo alipo rule alipo letoa akasema mtoto si mgojwa na kamekona usi mgojwa shida yake ni matibabu anaopewa 
mtoto alikuwa anapewa matibabu ya, ya, ya matibabu ya TB akasema hana TB treatment ya TB itself is a sickness wapi hizo dawa tupa edani kwenu kakamega mtoto akapona you are fear free and what afraid made and some doctors don't honor that they can't pump anything Watch out what you drink, Bona. Ukeda Dukani, don't buy. See, there are so many, so many drinks about their chemical composition. Umekunywa iyo asubui, umekunywa saa ine, umekunywa saa tatu. Sisi hatukuwa iyo vitu. Tulikuwa watu. Matubo ya tulikuwa meubu, hatukule matawi, jasijui nini, madizi na vitu ya shaba. Di unaona hata nyama inabili tupike. Mbwa inakula nyama direct. Sisi tunapika. We were not made to... Well, we are fear free and not afraid made. And you know it. Don't, don't live as if you don't know you are fear free made. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Ukiona matatu. Driver ni mulevi. Na haye di service. Na migui kwa karibu kutoka. I'm fear free and water free made and I know it. Mm. Na hapo wabia kwa wabia buwana. Buwana kwa mana uliniuba nikiwa na heshima. Na omba tu unipe gari yako. Ata kama ni fix kare kadawa. Mm. Au kasusuki kare kauba. Dio mungu ni tembe kwa heshima hile mi naju. Because I know it. Makaka na ni hita. Bune wewe. But mimi na njomi si bure. Mungu nipe tugari yangu ni jipebe mwenyewe. The way I know. Because, I, because my soul knows very well. Kwa hapa natakua nikariye kiti mzuri. Niende bila matusi. Niende bila kukana na mutu neiba hapa. Anakura mirako wa matatu. Mingia na vuta bagi kwa matatu. God! Because I know it very well. Nikubuke. Ah! Nisalimieni, habari enu. You are fear free and not afraid made. And you know it very. Tell your neighbor, I know it. Si ukiniambia, leo, na takunuli ya lunch. Lunch ni soda na biskuit biri. Sawa rakini, usurudia hiyo. Gojea munga kubaliki kidogo. Unuri hata kama ni yae moja. Because sina umbaya, I'm conscious about it. I, my soul knows very well. Na, you treat others as people who are fear free and water free made. Amen. Iri tuwe puke magojwa mengi. Wagiru unayada dukani wa mama, unanunua arusho na mboa ikonama kemiko mboa kama ulizali wakua na munga likupatia gosi nyeusi kama hii yangu. Sikisi hata tunajipaka mafuta ya ngombe. Nakuta sasa umejikuna. Kuna aja kweka mekemiko nyingi. Kama ye ni mwewusi kama watu wa South Sudan. Just take care of your skin. Usiweke mekemiko sana. No. The way you are, you just need to be clean. Udwa mzuri. Amen. Amen. You will be original but very nice and neat. In Jesus name. Kama ni mavasi munajua si tunafurisha hivi. Mutu avae nguo inaofunika uchi. Na uvae kwa adiri ya kuvaa. Bwana wabariki. Muko. Na yesu. Kuna wakati magonjwa inaletua na affliction. Affliction. Mateso. Umepitia affliction, distress, calamity. Umepitia, kama siku hizi Baba Franco, kuna word zimeanzishwa. Haiku yako zamani, Baba Jerry, haiku yako zamani. Ukienda Murangu Hospital, uede wapi, kuna word special ya watu waliyo umizwa na boda boda. Haiku wako zamani. Ukienda 
nyeri hospital au wende kakamaka hospital kuna ward na hizo nyingi za magonjwa isiyo sio kuabuki sana sio virus sio bacteria sio fungi sio infection ni magonjwa si ya kuabukizwa magonjwa like ugonjwa wa sukari blood pressure kansa hiyo magonjwa siku hizi eh roho kupiga mtu amekunywa wine mpaka imekura waliogo pancreas na imekura liver ati na ndio wengi sana careless living na kuna ile ya affliction uliteswa ukateswa mpaka pressure ikapada unakuta huyu ni mama mume wake memtesa mpaka roho inapiga unakuta huyu ni mzee biashara yako vile umeiweka umeweka in a way that is so threatening every week kuna watu wanakuja kukuua any time gari yako yazauzwa any time wa mama shairok any time tv yazachukuliwa umejiingiza kwa maisha ya kusturiwa affliction oppression ambazo your body cannot with this stand so in a big no big mpaka hapa kupasuke unakuta umeanza kwenda hivi inabidi shukari pande inabidi uwe na shida ya sijui ya liver na whatever please ni vizuri tuongeze maombi ili neno litimie hiyo sema na muombe usitutie kwa majaribu bali tuokoe na ule muovu because there are diseases caused by affliction distress calamity mzee mmoja alituambia alikuwa hapa jogoro sema alikuwa moro wakati wa crashes and he lost seven children seven seven aliona kipe ta 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 kataroka huu mzee akikaa hivi ana fade that's why unapoomba usiombe kama ni kuzuri abia bwana naomba unitangulie mungu usinitie kwa majaribu gai niokoe na ule muovu because although i'm fear for the maid i need peace although i'm fear for the maid mimi ni mwanadamu anaohitaji kulindwa ili bwana tuondolee magonjwa ya distress aha ulikojea mrango fuguka wa pesa hapa ndio ulipe hapa baada ya mnao kufuguka ndio hata inadai pesa ingine. kitabo And that, you know, when I book attack your job, it was aimed at at what? Distress. Bereni, skiza. Bereni ibirisi alipaga shida distress. Kwamba ayuba kika ngobe zinauawa. Kita bali poti ya ngobe ishe ya gamia na kuja. Kita ba gamia ishe eh ya watoto na kuja. Hey, it was aimed at distress. Badra ya ayuba kwa na distress amaje alisimama kashema. Nilitoka tuboni mwa mama yangu nikiwa uchi na nitarudi kwa Mungu nikiwa uchi jina la Bwana litukuzwe Bible says badara ya kuumia aliabudu that's why you need to pray until you can worship kuna wakati you, you are not able to pray but you can only worship Shetani alipoona hawezi agamiza ayubu kwa distress akamletea magonjwa yeye mwenyewe akawa na bajivu kutoka kichwa mpaka huku kwa miguu thousands of boils hapo dipo ayuba alisemaje badala we badala ya kuwa na distress akasema najua muteteaji wagu yuko amen na hatimaye atasimama katika dunia hii 
hata kama gozi yangu itakuemeisha mimi nitamuona na macho yangu na sio ya mwingine ni yangu itamuona na akasemaje na nitamuona akiwa wa upande wangu you need to pray so deeply mpaka hata ukifinywa sana badraya uwe na blood pressure you are able to worship badraya kulala the whole night ni clear I always tell people, we, kama kuna watu wakekua, miumia na watu kama sisi, mabisho. Kuongoza kanisa baada kai. Hii Kenya. Watu taka kukua. Wikini ya uo. <laughs> Unakuta hata ujari. Sukisa tupiti katikati yao. Tunapiti ya hitha juu yao au dani yao. Si katikati yao. Hitha juu yao au dani. Ukeuliza ule sometime. Anandulita ulilala lini. Because nilipika magoti saa ina usiku. Na nilitoka asubu saa kuminabili. Ninakaa hapu. Paka. Badaya. We. Badaya kuketi hivi. Niwe na stress. I stay on my knees. Until stress inaisha. And God gives you power to overcome. One of the healing. New. Easy. Wachani mwabi mnabamu kikibia. Kuna ingine. Ingine na ito atharapi. Tharapi prayer. Hauna, hawezi ogea anything. Hauna maneno ya kuogea. Na kaa hapo. Na habia buwana si odoki hapa. Na kugojea mpaka. Hayo mamba ya nao ni umiza. Uchukue yote. Na wanao ni umiza buwana. Nisikie wewe unawashugulikia. Nami ni kutukuze. Nina come paka ghost take over. Na nanipa anointing ingine ya hali ya juu. Nikitoka hapo sasa, hata kama ulikuwa taku niuwa, utanuna nakuwabia, God bless you my brother, God bless you. Sina shita na wewe. I don't know what happens. Unapenda watu wote, but God is doing something about the issues. If you don't do that, ni shida kubwa. Watu, wacha wanyama. Ngobe haina shida, watu. Ilifati shetani, watu. Kwa mani meandikwa, Christo sema hini, Christo sema musiogope. Nime mshida ule muovu. Lakini ya nipofika kwa watu. Aisha manje. Na mujihadhali na wa. Kwa shetani ya sema. Nime mshida ule muovu musi yogope. But ibirisi. Watu wanadamu. Watch out. Watch out people. Alikufa kwa ajili ya watu yesu. Diyo nataka tuwa ubiye na tukae na wao. Kwa sema na kimu kikaa na wao. Watch out. Tena nasema Yesu, nina watuma kama kodo katikati ya mbwa mwitu. Iweni na hekima kama serpent. Na mkose uovu, mwe wapole kama dafu. Two classistics, wisdom and harmless. Sina upaya na wewe, lakini na hekima ya Jehovah. May God bless us with that. Amen. Kwa mana kuna magojo itaito na iyo kitu, and we need kuna wakati maybe i'm finishing this kuna kitu kinaitwa discipline of god discipline of god kuna wakati mungu kuna wakati utagojeka kwa maana mungu ameona atumia magojwa ku discipline god you use sickness to discipline you that's the only thing he will use haitakuwa lakini ikupatie discipline ah uh, Katika Hebrews chapter 12 verse 5. Hebrews 12 verse 5. Inashema. Inashema. Tena. Mumesa hao yare maonyo. Ya semayo nanyi kama kusema na wana. Mwanangu. Usi atharao marudia ya buwana. Wala usizimie moyo ukikemewa na ye. Maana ye ye, abaye buwana ampenda humurudi. Na ye humpiga kila mwana amkubalie. Now, that is now a very good... Ebo has a verse 5. Asa maje verse 5. And you have forgotten the exhortation he speaks to you as to sons. My son... Do not despise the chast the 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 chast the chast chast 
chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked. When God another chastisement, chastisement ni mapigo. Lakini unapigwa kama mtoto. Unaumia. Lakini unapigwa na baba kama mtoto. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scorch every son whom he receives. Sasa hii nae, sasa ni very tough. Kira mtoto mungu wanapenda hutadika. Sasa hiyo sa. Yuge. Vwe maate kwa igwe. Kira mtoto upendwa sana na mungu. Huta kosa kutadikwa. So ni vizuri kujua unapo. Kuna wakati mungu ile kiboka tatumia. Ni kaugojwa furani. Hakata kuguwa. Lakini kata kuumiza mpaka we na adabu. Tua! Na kama we you are sensitive. Utajua na hii ni kiboko kia mbwana. Na baba ni mekubali. Sasa, muna niagalia vibaya. Si meadikwa. Sama ni kwa bibilia. Si meadikwa hivyo. Mwenye mugu hupenda. Yee humuchapa. Anatumia jina. Barada jina kuchapa. Yee humurudi. Is a kind of treatment. Ya kutegeneza wewe urudi. So as you wait. As you walk with God. Si orazma uchapwe. Si orazma ucha. How do, we, how do we go about that? Ukitebea na mungu so closely, itabidi uwe na adabu. Usiyoge ovi ovi o berezake. Muna sikia? Muna sikia? Yeah? Yeah. Ukieda leo kwa gate ya Queen Elizabeth, Central Radan, uyagarie. Kweza fikiri uneza eda hapo ovi ovi o. Ukienda vile pameandi kwa na heshima, utaheshimiwa. Ukienda na tabia mbaya, utategenezwa. Kuna vile ukikarimbia mfaume wa faume, unabihivu. Na kuna vile uneza bihivu, bila ya kaona, wewe unalihakiri. Tua! Ka! Ka msuri. Wamonio, sisi yupo kwa na unakuta binti yako meka na kaguo kafu pina na kabre haru. Sisi kama biya, wewe, rudi sisi yangu na adabu. Oko na mbiya tafada hali. Sisi iyo muta tafsiri manayake. How do I behave as a very dear son of God? Ni avoid mungu kila wakati kujaribiwa kunitadika. And sometimes in a bidi atumie maumivu fura. Furani. Ukuti umeenda. Umeumia baka. Utakapo keti ujirudisa. Baba. Nimegudua kuna tabia hupedi dani yangu. Nimegudua kuna tabia. Kuna watu huogea ovi ovi. You are a good son of God. But of late. Hunda break ya mudomo. Tuu. Kuna wengine na bidi ya kuteke tubu, ayadesha sana. Kuna tabia kukura mungu ataki. Do you know you should eat as a daughter? So you are free and wonderful maid? Yes. Ukienda, uangalia chakwa from there to there. Kuna mtu anayeka matubu, dengo, chijui, mayai, boyo, mayai, chijui, whatever. Hmm. Ingine ni kama ya my Nigeria Mbao hujui metoka wapi Ingine metoka South Ingine ni Scorpion ni metoka Ingine ni Nigeria wanachijaka Ata sineo Unayaka yote Eat as a son of God Mungu ataruhusu uendesha shiku kama kama Dio uwe na Discipline of eating. Chakura ni balidi. Nedi piku wa subui. Unaona hii. Hata mafuta yipawe mepika. Kama chips ingina tunonia toto pale. Chips. Mafuta inao piku kiagalia. Imepika wikitatu. Naome kanunuria. 
tomato sauce ni akaliobangi hapa chini ambao hata wewe ukiangalia kabisa tubo yako itakoroga ah, baba yote atitabidi uone kakitapika diwe na adabu <laughs> ni vizuri we ili tuepuke baba we baba yetu kutuchapa makofi wacha tumuogope sana na hata kama utachapwa uchapwe bili tatu sio nyingi bariki weni magojwa inaweza tumiwa na baba si kuwe kukutia nini akili au kukunenea kama mtoto bwana aweze kutubariki na mwishowe unaweza gojeka kwa sababu ya wiufu ignorance of god's word umekataa tu mungu amekwea sikizeni mungu amekunenea na usiki mungu alikutokea na usiki kuna wengine tulisema tufuke siku tatu ulikula tachapwa diuke wiki bili hukuli ya lazima unazikia ukikora hazibiti wapi ufuge ya ugojwa sababu ulifata ulikataa kufuga ya afya kuna watu inabidi tu uchapwe willful ignorance of god's word kitu mungu alikwambia do this musamehe huyu ulikuwa na pesa ya conference na mwaka mbili ya conference na ulikucho karudi naye kununua chakula willful ignorance yani umeamua kutotii Mungu waweza kujeka kwa sababu ya hiyo na ya mwisho ya mwisho ni taking holy communion in unworthy way kukura meza ya Bwana kwa ajili isiyo stahiri kuna watu baada ya meza ya Bwana hugojeka sana. Kwa maana ulifikitu ni mkate, ukafikitu ni mkate lakini imekuletea shida. Hebu angalia Akorintho wa kwanza 11 chapter 11 verse 28. Do it quickly because time is far much gone. First Corinthians 11:28 inasemaje lakini mtu ajihoji mwenyewe na hivyo aule mkate na kukinywea kikombe verse 29 first corinthians 29 maana alaye na kunywa hula na kunywa hukumu ya nafsi yake kwa kutokubabanua ule mwili verse that sasa hii ilikuwa issue ya corinthian paulo aliandikwa barua kabwa alienda kabwa ni kuba kwa sababu hiyo wako wengi kwenu walio hawawezi na dhaifu na watu kadhaa wa kadha wamelala Do you know in Corinthian Paul asemaje Mhm For this reason sasa in the church of Corinth many are weak Amen and sick and among you many are asleep He sleep ni kukufa katika kanisa la Korintho every time wageshiki meza ya Bwana watu walikufa sana mpaka familia moja ikaona haieleweki wakaenda kwa Paulo kwambia Paulo we have an issue here every time baada ya communion kuna tokeo watu ambao hawawezi ni wadhaifu sana wameisha au ni wagonjwa sana na kadhaa wanakufa Paulo akawaambia ukikura meza ya Bwana kwa njia ambayo haista hili haista hili bila kubabanua mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo itakuletea magojwa Bwana tusaidie sana Although kun, wa mama kuna watu walifundisha wa mama na wazee wazee wacheni kufundisha mambo ambao si yenu mnaambia wa mama na wa mama wengine hata macho yale sijui wapi ati ukiwa na period ile shida yenu ati uweze kula mesa ya bwana nani aliwaambia hiyo sio uchafu hey wewe mama mase mase ikwambia haonagi hiyo period si utaona utamwambia ikuje si sehemu ya afya wa mama ni kimu tijere mtu kuwa na ile cycle yake kila mwezi na kuona si sehemu ya afya mama maumbile ya mama ukiwa hata na periods 
Kwa maana udhaifu hauko hapo. Hiyo ni mahubiri ya Mungu. Udhaifu ni dhambi na kutokubabanua mwili wa Kristo. Ende ni mwambie watu wasiharibu kanisa. Nani na wazi kosa moja hapa ambia we okoro unayoka kitu usikule. Hapa hapa hakuna udhaifu hauko hapa wapendwa. Mama kingoni naomba niangalia. Uliyapo hivyo na mafurani. Now finally we say if no healing tukiombea mtu tutavute uso wa Bwana. Madaktari wa mtibu na haponi release that person to the will of God. Release that person to the will of God. Mume funga mume omba. Tumejitakasa. Daktari wa mejaribu. Tumepinga chatari kwa jazote. Na tunaona bwana. Sasa what we need to do ni tuwabe to say God what is your will now? You release person to the will of God. But haitakiwi iwe hivo maranyigi Lazima tuwe na tujue tubabanue mambo mawili matatu. Let me read the verse. Nasema first Peter chapter 4 verse 19. Basi wao wateswao kwa mapenzi ya mungu. Na wamweke amana roho zao. Katika kutenda mema kama kwa muumba muaminifu. Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good as to a faithful creator. Kuna wale ambao unagudua is God's mapenzi ya mungu kuna matese matokea in the will of God. Bible nasema kwamba commit your soul to him na utende mema kabisa. Make sure how na ubaya as to faithful creator. For instance, Ayubu ato kama ge muambea haponi. Komana hayelewe kiki na pitia. What did he do? Adisema, mimi na juwa ni meokoka. Ni mepitia maba bosi elewi. Paka wande akasema sija wa itamani muka wa mutu. Sija wa yona ya tima. Ni kamunyuma chakura. Akasema, natafuta mungu kwa mkawa kusimuoni. Kwa watoto, nini simuoni. But he said, nitamgojea. Na nitaweka kajia zangu bere zake. You may not understand, but keep your ways na ugoje. Yes, akua ni mutihani kama ayubu. Very soon utamaliza ulipwe kitu maradufu. Amen. You need to understand that. Na hiyo sasa ni teaching kuhusu uh, lessons ya magonjwa and how God heals. Mumelewa? Is it clear? Musome, rudia scriptures, how to besoma. God bless you. Samen tushukuru mungu.